Today's the day. I'll show you guys how to hit like a boss. Somebody, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Boat garden in a club. Where the bottle that rose. All right, man. As you guys can see, we're in practice mode because this is the best way. I'm not going to say the best way, but it's one of the better ways to get your hitting down, get the fundamentals. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, first things first. You got to go into your options. You got to make sure the settings are all set. Got to make sure you can get down with the PCI that you like. You got to experiment. It's going to be it's going to be difficult. Personally, I've developed to the point where I turn the PCI off. I have no indicator on my screen when I play. But for this video's purposes, I'm going to throw it back on to give some tips. Now, when I did have it on, I believe it was on Wedge. Wedge, I mean, you got, I'm going to show you guys better than I can tell you guys. You know what I'm saying? Wedge is kind of like, I, I don't know what type of shape it is. It's a damn small region on the inside, a fatter region on the outside, and a small circle in the middle. Anyways, this is good. This is good to pinpoint. Me, personally, it gets in my way, but if you want to, you know what I'm saying, locate the ball out the pitcher's hand, if you want to follow it from his hand directly to the strike zone and have a little tiny marker on a little tiny circle, then wedge is the way to go. All right, dynamic, clear circle. Don't, I mean, self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? Round out. This is the one I actually use. Reticle was the one I was using when I did have my PCI turned on. And it's cool, you know, it doesn't it doesn't hog the plate. You can still see the middle of the plate. You can see the top of the zone. You can see the bottom of the zone. And it covers the outside region, still letting you know how big your PCI is. So reticle's cool. Personally, this is the one. This is the one I favor. This is the one I went with, as I said. All right, now this buckshot one is funky. And I mean funky. Takes up half your screen. Can't really see anything. I guess, I guess that's a good dynamic of... Uh, whether or not you're gonna make good contact on the ball, like for example, if I if I hit a if I get a ball that's a little high in the zone and my PCI, you know where those little uh those little shaded dots are on the buckshot screen. I guess if you hit the ball right there, it's obviously not gonna be solid contact. As you can see, you just foul tipped it off. So buckshot, I mean, pretty self-explanatory. All of these are self-explanatory, man. You just gotta find the one that fits you best. You gotta find the one that you can see that you can get down with. That's all it is. Next is going to be the cameras. Almost the second most important thing when it comes to hitting. You got to find your camera that you like. It took me a while. It took me a while to master strike zone. This is the one, obviously, I'm messing with now. But for a second, I was messing with the show 15. I was messing with the show 16, strike zone 3. But eventually, I found my home with strike zone. You got to just play around with the settings, man. You got to go into them. It's going to take you a while. It's going to be frustrating at first, obviously. But just be patient, man. This is a... MLB The Show should be called MLB The Grind. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a slow process. You're not going to be good overnight. It's going to take a while. So just sit with it. Play with it. And find your setting. All right. My next set of advice, and arguably a very important one, very, very important, you have to approach each at bat like you're at the plate your damn self. This is real life. Treat it like it's real life. Don't go up there with just the mentality to swing at everything, trying to get quick runs on the board. Nah, man, recognize the situation. Understand how many outs there are. Look around in your base pass, see how many runners you have on base. You know what I'm saying? It's awareness and focus. Focus. When the pitcher is throwing... Stare at this dude's hand. Stare at his right hand, left hand, whether or not it's a righty or lefty. But stare at his hand and focus and un memorize that strike zone. If you see a ball is going to come high, memorize where his pitch, memorize where the ball leaves his hand. Ba basically what I'm trying to say. It's going to take you an inning or two, but you, you'll be able to tell by the third or fourth inning whether or not he's throwing a high heater inside, outside whether or not it's obviously going to be low and away, whether or not it's going to be inside. You know what I'm saying? And as far as getting your PCI in a specific location to start the pitch or pre-pitch, to me, I mean, it doesn't matter. 
I mean, you'll hear some people say started high and um, they started like a little up and high in the zone. Some people say never put it low. But honestly, like I said, it goes back to adapting to the pitcher. If you know the man is throwing low or he has tendencies to throw inside, low and inside all game, I mean, don't guess. Don't sit there and guess that it's going to come low and inside, but anticipate it. Have your PCI not in that range, but just know mentally that your thumb is probably going to have to go somewhere in that capacity. So, you know, get your thumb loose a little bit. Get it playing around. I'm not going to say have it up here, have it down here, you know what I'm saying? But have it loose. If it's gonna, if you think it's going to be low, you can adjust to the high pitch. If you think it's going to be high, you can come back and adjust to the low pitch. You know what I'm saying? It's, e- it's easier to adjust to low pitches than it is to adjust to high pitches. So keep that in mind. With that being said, it's on you, wherever you want to put it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you feel most comfortable with your thumb. If you like to keep it stationary in the middle, Keep it stationary in the middle. If you like to have it high up in the zone inside because you think every pitch is going to come high inside, leave it there. This is all a comfort-based thing. <sighs> all right, next piece of information. Not that important, but, you know, it could make or break a tie game in the bottom of the night. Just saying. You have to know when and when not to power swing. Don't. Do not ride or die on trying to get a home run every single at bat, like I said. You have to approach it in a smart, tactical way. If you're in the bottom of the ninth inning with a man on second base, one down, why in the world would you try and power swing and end it to get a walk-off highlight? Nah, man, place the ball. Try and slap it in the opposite field in the gap. Get that runner home. Walk off that way instead of celebrating with a walk-off home run. You don't need to power swing. Me, personally... I'm always I'm always swinging with X. You'll never see me power swing. Never. I mean, I'll power swing when I'm facing the CPU. I'll power swing when I'm facing, you know what I'm saying, when I'm doing some casual gameplay, trying to crack some humor. But if I'm in an intense game, if I'm down by one run, and I got Cody Bellinger at the plate, I'm not going to take the risk of having my PCI be this small and me having to get a perfect, perfect PCI location upon contact with the ball it's a, it's hard it's it's really hard you know what i'm saying so you got to you got to be tactical about it you got to press x circle mm. i wouldn't necessarily say contact swing i'm always pressing x like i said x is the way to go square sometimes rarely like i said if i'm playing cpu or if i have like a four run cushion bottom of the 7th inning 8th inning then we'll start playing around with it but for the most part, you're pressing X. I mean, that pretty much sums it up when it comes to the basic fundamentals of hitting. Like I said, if you've been experiencing this game a lot and if you've had past MLB The Show titles and you know what's good and you've been experienced with the zone hitting, then I challenge you to take the PCI off. If you can adjust to using the PCI, pretty much it's the same thing just you don't have you don't see it on screen it doesn't get in your way it's not you don't have any type of blockade in front of you i like it me personally i like it i don't know man those tips these are the tips that helped me out these are the tips that helped me get my gameplay to where it needed to be you know what i'm saying to help me start getting some dubs online where i wasn't frustrated all the time quitting out like i used to in MLB the show 15 and 16 and I'm not going to say 17. 17, we started getting our started getting our rhythm. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, man, I had to stick to these fundamentals. I had to stay patient. It's a grind, man. Play versus the computer. Play versus the computer on Legendary. I'm not going to say Hall of Fame. No, I'm not going to say Legendary. Excuse me. Play versus the computer on Hall of Fame. All-star difficulty. Veteran difficulty. If you can't do those yet. Get better. You have to get that challenge. You have to fail. You have to experience that adversity. So you can challenge yourself to get better. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Stay patient. Find your setting PCI camera angle that you like, that you can master. Approach each at bat like you're actually at the plate. And you let me know. You let me know whether or not you're hitting improves. Stay tuned.
more videos are obviously dropping. Some more how-to videos will be coming. You know, pitching tips. Uh, I don't even know damn base running tips, but pitching tips, you know, settings I use, different, uh, different things in the game. Anyways, man, if you guys like the video, if you guys found any type of advice with these tips, as you can see, I'm raking. But if you can find, uh, if you found any type of advice with these tips, leave a comment. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. Cause I, hey, I'm, I'm not the best player in the game by any means. Not even close. I'm catching L's left and right, but I'm also getting wins left and right. That's the difference. But like I said, if you guys have any tips that you can give your boy, please. If anything has helped you, if you've come across any other videos that have helped you out, some things that I didn't say, please let me know. I'm out of here. Subscribe. More content on the way. Please drop a like for your boy. You don't have to. If you want to. If you liked it, why not? You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here. Till next time, be safe.